What's up? What's popping with you? Was it was fine. So during that break, sun zone, church zone, everything zone. Right? Do I want to join up? I'm just like, what? First, in place of my like literally, like it's just better than like, okay. I mean, like okay, like the person walked up to me and he was. Girl, I spent like a good 20 minutes looking for my microphone, but I'm not gonna stress. I'm literally not gonna stress. What's up? What's popping? We call you call. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God, it has been a hot minute since I said, let me pick up my camera and vlog for you. But it has been a really hot minute. I miss y'all. I didn't want to leave y'all, but I have to leave for a while. Well, it's fine. I think it's fine. We're about to explain that in this whole video of, you know, life update, whatever type vibe as I get ready and do my makeup. And happy aid to all my Muslim babies out there. Love you, love you, love you. I'm actually going to be celebrating with my friends today. We're going to do like a cook fest. We have like chicken. We have like beef. We're going to like go all out. Okay? Okay. So, yeah. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? It's so awkward just like filming alone. Like it's way different from like, oh, I'm, I want to vlog. But like this an actual sit down, oh, let's talk video. But we're going to get into to my skincare, my makeup, as well as um, answer some questions about like school, career, boys, college life, da 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 da. You know, all the spice and bits up there. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and welcome. And I know you're not speaking English again, but welcome to the family, y'all. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay. Let's get into the video. Just to know, um, none of the products used in this video are sponsored. But if you want to sponsor me, hi, hello. Oh, but first things first, I will be going in with the ordinary solution. My TikTok skincare girlies know what I'm talking about because your girl Loki has bad skin. It's not bad, but like I have things on my face that I wanna, you know, fix. And I'm going in with my cure pads. And yeah, literally. I also use these on my armpits as well because apparently it helps with like darkening or like dark spots and stuff like that. So, anyways, enough of the skincare chit chat. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything is going well for you. Things are going well for me. Thank you for asking. We thank God. Even though I cried myself to sleep last night. But it's fine. It's normal. We all do that sometimes. It's cute. Just have to remember that God got your back and you have to sleep. You just gotta sleep. Sleep like Elijah. The Elijah in the Bible. That God was just like, well, and sleep and he slept so you know sleep through the storm be like jesus sleep through the storm like literally the solution for anything is like just sleep i have this pimple up here my sister said i should pop it i popped it and now i'm going to have a scar thank you twin sister i love you so much but anyways speaking about life where do we start with this life get ready with me chit chat video what do you guys want to know see me asking the camera like you guys can actually speak to me but let's talk about school so if you do not know i um went off like i had like a school break but before i go on to that i'm going to be using this is a uh, beauty by jo joseon i don't know I, I'm, I know i'm butchering it but it has a glow serum that has pro pro Propopolis and Nia Simlophia. It's, it's just, yeah, a glow serum. But, anyways, <laughs> back to the topic of school. School, if you don't know, I took like a break of school last semester because, like, I think like everybody did in my like program, at least for my set. So, we took like a break of school and it was, it was fun. So, during that break, I used it to 
low key like no low key but like really start my career i started my career in last year's summer and i got gifted thank god and yeah i so far so good the industry has revealed to me it's way different from what you see on tv and like stuff like that just being like live in the action is just like wow okay there are a lot of things in this industry like you didn't know about and i won't lie starting from the bottom is not the easiest thing like even in any industry starting from the bottom is not easy because it's really discouraging just coming inside i know you know how to cook it's what's your mother taught you back home and you know it's just like the the culinary world is vast or whatever so you just have to like be up to date and like learn how to expand your horizon or whatever but we thank god sha we shall thank god like I, I think i'm thriving i'm thriving hope i'm doing well but grace of god i am doing well and you know we'll see where god wants to take me for like like where god wants to take me i'm still very you know should i do this should i do that and i that's why i keep crying like god like what do you want me to do and he's like girl trust me and i'm like oh <laughs> Like so, I will get to the faith talk very well. Like, but like when when it comes to my career, I am really like very much like. Do I want to trust God? Even though I know God got it, but like at the same time, just like letting go and like being free without thinking every day is not. It's not, it's not as easy as it sounds, but it is what it is. We we'll just learn how to like, trust God. Right now, I'm going with in with the fenty skin sunscreen if you watch my birthday vlog you know that my roommate got this for me i do like two pumps like, every day apparently yes spf and it's really good i really like the feel but you know what that's literally it and now i'm in my third semester i'm a junior i'll be graduating in december at least finishing my program in december and i'm really excited for the next chapter of my life hopefully because next year as well surprise surprise i do want to go to school and get like an actual degree in like dietics because i do think i want to go into clinical dietitian work and stuff because it seems really cool and it's like in with the field like is in the field of what i want to do which is basically food so yeah because sometimes if you know the kitchen is not a chill environment but like part of me also wants to explore that chill environment that food has to offer if you understand what i'm saying enough talk with school school is doing fine as, as i said school is doing well but right now we're going in with my foundation which is from the body shop in the shade deep one and this is my favorite foundation ever it has vitamin c in it i think but yeah i don't know but it's a like really good body shop sponsor me like bro i love this foundation and i've been a legit follower of this foundation for like ever since i found out about it but yeah <laughs> moving about like skipping the talk of school and career let's talk about boys <laughs> in 2023 you believe men you believe men in 2023 but yeah i don't even know what to say on the topic of boys bro because if i start talking me and myself i'm just like feel what? Feel what? but so far so i have been single like for every long time ever since i came to canada like i haven't had anyone look in my direction and i'm just convinced that god is just hiding me away from all the vultures sometimes that's why i used to convince myself shall like, ah, god the god is just uh, one of these small boys you know to come on but at the same time you just think like ah, am i worth being in a relationship or is like that's me in the bible they said to everybody that get married i beg god i don't want to be like those people i'm not saying that um you know getting not getting married is bad but me personally i would like to get married just my opinion before people take this out of context like oh you can't be a boss babe. if you don't if you're not married you can't be a i am a boss babe. so like it's just like you know I, I would like to get married i would like to have a family of my own that is just my opinion but look at this i don't know if the light is like showing like but look at the foundation y'all it's like it's like it's literally my fa favorite foundation i don't know if my camera is projecting what i'm seeing but like it's so good 
I literally love it. But yeah, topic about boys. <laughs> girls don't chase boys <laughs> that's all i'm going to say that's all i'm going to say because <laughs> your girl has chopped sister zone church zone everything zone red on left or red zone <laughs> and i was just like what a life what a life that's what i'm going to say Sha. but yeah when it comes to boys i literally i yeah i don't mm -mm, i don't have anybody in my radar that's for now, but part of God's plan, I guess. But look at that glow, like, can you see the difference? Like, literally, it might look darker on camera because my lighting is kind of shit. I should actually invest in like, getting like a, what's it called, like a filming light, but I'm like, I better like I have like I'm just like okay I need I'm gonna save my money for like other things. Talk about saving my money for other things. I think I'm going to leave this to the end. I have like a surprise for you. But the main question I know y'all have been asking is like, am I done with YouTube? So I think I took like a hiatus or I think that's what it's called. But like I went on like a very long ass break where I was just posting like every two months i think because number one getting into youtube like i didn't realize how discouraging it could be like oh like i'm not getting as much views like one video will get like 10k views and another video will get like 89 views in a day which is not bad i'm not i'm saying like oh i'm grateful for all of y'all that are watching my videos but like it's, it could be just like really discouraging like why i put all this time into editing and stuff and like <laughs> like what's up like am i like am i boring or like something like that and i know i'm not boring but like it just makes you second guess like things i guess i was saying it just like makes you second guess like everything you do and plus it was last semester i was like okay i'm going to go all out for this youtube thing i'm going to you know like do everything <laughs> wrong by the way i'm going in with this wet and wild concealer it's not even like my my shade of concealer but i just like to do like right there and right there just to seem like i'm doing something oh my god that is and i also do it with like a mix of my foundation as well because it's like literally too light so i don't like a type of foundation so i like blank out everything so anyways yeah so last semester as i said i went like on the uh break from school so i was like okay i'm going to do like go all out with this like, youtube stuff like i'm going to like cop off and everything wrong that's the time i was like okay i actually like it's that for doing that i had to sacrifice youtube just to like sort of like build my career and like a sense like at least gain experience and stuff and the chefs that i was working with like they absolutely killed that like they literally like had like they they taught me most of the stuff i am sure culinary school is never ever gonna teach me and they keep teaching me some of the stuff that i know like i i will only learn while working with them so i'm really grateful for the opportunity that i get to work with amazing chefs and thank god literally thank god that's all i have to say but yeah, so that had to come first in place of my YouTube career that I, I supposedly wanted to build on, which is not bad. You just have to make sacrifices for other things. And I'm grateful that I made the sacrifice because I will say I am two times better than how I started out in the kitchen. Like, this is the other day I was reflecting, I was looking like, damn because there's money that goes into training an employee uh, let me tell you girl i was one of those employees <laughs> i was one of those employees i was just like it hey, don't, don't mean like i was just like <laughs> like i was just like literally like no experience zero like <laughs> do i even know how to do it if you tell me to cook a fast food i, I will cook but if you come and tell me to see if i grab girl i could not see her a freaking foie gras and i know some of you are looking at me like what the fuck what's what foie gras search it out search it out <laughs> i feel like a chef <laughs> but yeah you know it was just like yeah i was just one of those employees that needed time and 
I needed someone to believe in me and the people I did work with hopefully believed in me <laughs> but yeah they believed in me and you know they let me stick around and with time I got better and better and better and better and I'm not saying I'm the best still but I'm just like oh I am like 10 times better than what I was when I started so it was a great sacrifice I had to do for YouTube but the real question is that I am am I done with YouTube no I am not done with YouTube I love content creating so much like 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 so much and I think content creating I'm going in with powder right now this one is from Lagos Markets probably so I, I don't know if that's the actual brand but I shall know it, that's how I use but I'm not done with content creating because if like I think as a chef one of the things I do want to get into is like film and production like I know like a couple of my teachers who said they did like um they were in TV production for years or working because like as a chef I think there's like you should be able to branch out rather is that you become private chef sh sh sheriff <laughs> Sheriff. Ah, I think as a chef you think it's like you, it's like good that you branch out whether you become a private chef or you do like um you know um tv or like anything literally I think it's like really smart to branch out I had chef I know chefs that like you know literally worked on cruise ships like they'll be away from their family for like months and like they'll get like big money you know like I want that. I want that. Like, you know, like, I just, like, I think TV is going to be, like, a good way for me to, like, sort of branch out. Because I do want to go, get into TV production. I do want to be famous. I do want to, you know, see that side of, you know, chef life, literally. So, I don't think I'm going to stop filming or, like, pulling out my camera anytime soon. So that is going to stay for a while literally i'm going to with more foundation and i think i'm going to do like bronzer fun fact i actually don't have like not bronzer contour i don't have a contour because usually i do like natural face makeup where i do like just a bit of foundation just cover my under eyes or like my spots and i do blush and i'm like oh don't but you understand but I think I do have like a darker shade which I can use for bronzer. But I literally like don't. I'm not even gonna stress it, honestly. This lighting is horrible. Let's see. Okay. But like, yeah, the lighting is horrible, but like you guys can see like yeah, but I don't think I'm gonna go for bronzer. But back to that topic. But yeah, I'm not going to leave YouTube anytime soon. It's something that I will slowly try and get back into by the grace of God. God, you know, allowing me to slay every day. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be leaving YouTube anytime soon. So the content will still be like low-key like I'm, I'm gonna try and get back on track but right now i'm in school i'm doing like you know i'm still building on my career outside so it's just like those two things come first before this and i know god has a reason for everything and like everything will work out in his plan but like i'm not going to believe in youtube i actually thought of it like people well, let me actually just quit youtube but i was like no I'm not going to. But anyways, I'm going in with QO blush in this shade Scarlet 000. This thing has stained my hand. But anyways, yeah. I'm not going to be leaving YouTube any time soon. So my face is going to stay on the internet for a while. Now watch me become famous, y'all. Like y'all will be like, yeah. Literally. And even the funny thing, yesterday I saw someone who um who was like, yo, are you, are, you, are you the girl from YouTube? And I'm not, I, like, I'm not lying and stuff because I don't see there's any point in lying. But was like, yeah, he was like, oh yeah, I really like your YouTube and shit. I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. That was literally the cutest thing I heard yesterday and I was like so happy and I was like, girl, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop YouTube anytime soon. So, moving on to the next topic. How is your college life? How is your party life? How is just college in general? College friends? If you remember, I made a video a few months ago 
throwing shade on college friends or whatever. If I'm like moving there, I'm just trying to see how this is like blending out or whatever. But like I threw shade <laughs> at people apparently. That's how it was picked up. Like I'm a shade throw But yeah, like I talked about friendships and stuff. But all I have to say when coming to college is not necessary for you to have like a big friend group or like know a bunch of people are. let me tell you it's fun like it's good to build your connections why do i look like freaking rudolph mm, oh, oh well it's fine it's whatever but anyways i'm it's not it's good to have like connections and stuff but like know your people know know the people you you want to vibe with literally like know them it's not everybody you be friends with like i have people that i'm like oh this is my ride or that and there are people that i'm just like okay i know you as my class we go to class together like we make we, we do jokes we do everything but like yeah like you're not like in my inner circle or whatnot so literally that's like just know what you're like dealing with when it comes to people in general or like anything in general because I know every like TV would like make it seem like oh having like a bunch of friends or like whatever it is like necessary to survive in college. No, literally just have your circle. A minute. Literally just have the people you f with basically, and you will be on a roll. I have like four friends, like two of them graduated, and like two of them are still here, and I'm like I'm literally fine. Like I'm, I'm striving. Like I'm fine. I'm literally fine. Like uh, lit literally, 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 literally fine. So yeah, moving on to college parties. Even as extroverted as I am, I think parties are overrated. And when I tell you I have not, I'm talking like I've been to a college party. That's what I'm saying. I think parties are overrated. I, but speaking, truth be told, I have not been to any college party ever since i came to freaking algonquin college i have not i think <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally all that so i have not been like out to college parties bars any of that because <sighs> i don't think they're bad but or like i'm talking from like a christian point of view but it's just like I don't have time. It's a waste of my time and a waste of my money. <laughs> it's a waste of my time and a waste of my money. So I'm just like, mm, no, no. Like I don't see the hype. But like, even though they're playing Afrobeat or whatever, cool, cool. But I still don't see the hype. But like, maybe that's just me, Sha. And like, as extroverted as I am, they're like just certain spaces that i like to be extroverted in but most times i like to hide out by myself and i'm literally fine i'm literally fine you know sometimes i'm like oh shit this girl you're lonely like get some friends i'm going in with my makeshift eyebrow eyebrush eye eyebrow <laughs> kidding this thing was used to wash um straws but i never never used the straws i was like ah, this thing makes a good spoolie oh for me to go and buy spoolie for like it. If I know you be like, ah, spoolie is just like one dollar. But uh, this one is a spoolie by itself. But anyways, yeah. But like, yeah, I'm not into college partying and stuff like that. You be like, oh, she's boring. She's boring. If you think you can only get fun from partying and whatever and drinking and guy, there's more to life. Literally, I had someone walk up to me like we we're just talking and like. Okay, like the person walked up to me and he was like oh what do you do for fun and i was like oh like, i i like to go on picnics i like to go on walks i like to cook i like to like laugh with my friends but well, he was like oh so you don't like smoke party for fun i was like ah is that your definition of fun like, okay if you want to be partying for fun but like there's more to like a car a person than just them partying like there are other things there, there there should be other interests do you understand what i mean but like if you're a party person good, good for you but like i don't think i am a party person me personally like i don't think i am a party person i think this makeup looks so much better with a like, contour 
I don't give a shit. <laughs> I do it really time because it's like my everyday makeup in school. Makeup looks good. Your makeup eats girl. So I'm just like comfortable with how my makeup is. Literally. So I don't, I don't stress it. But yeah, that's my college life basically. I like when it comes to college parties and stuff like that. But let me tell you, sometimes being in college can be like so. You can be so lonely. Literally so lonely. But it's fine. It's fine. But anyways, I'm going in with the mascara from Elia. I got this for my birthday from Sephora. Like two a year ago last year last year actually i'm girl this is my this is the holy grail like for my eyelashes i'm just like snatch even though my eyelashes are pretty long but like you can see the difference bro like it's just like giving it's giving what it's supposed to give but yeah sometimes i do get lonely and I'm like, shit, but part of me wants to get a pet, but residents doesn't allow pets. Talking about residents. So your girl is moving on to greater heights, bro. Greater heights means like I am moving out of residence. As much as Algonquin College residence has been a very, very much learning experience, exposing of fake people and you know, like i've gained the friends that i have today it's time to move out like it's just time like <laughs> truth be told school residences are expensive as frig the only thing that is convenient about them is that they're literally on campus and you can like you can have a 7 a.m class I can wake up at 6.45 and still get to class on time, literally. And like, oh, you meet a bunch of people, like the community is there and stuff. But like, bro, apart from that, it's like a lot of money and like a lot of like rules and like a lot of like just a behind the scenes that go with running the residence because like, it's literally that, I, I, I don't know how to put it, but like, it's just like whoa like bro i think also one thing that, apart from the money um like it being too expensive one thing that also prompted me to say okay i need to move out was that i wasn't really comfortable with how like um the community kitchens are me personally would love to have like my own personal kitchen or like just like my kitchen in like my living space because I feel it's more convenient. A number of people are using it. If it's just me and my roommate using it, like it's fine. But like, I also don't like how the aesthetic of me filming in like community kitchens were. So I'm just like, okay, I literally don't have space on my phone to add to like delete stuff. But yeah, it's mostly the money, like literally. Like it's just better like to leave live outside campus. But I advise always get a place closer to campus because like it's more convenient. <laughs> this video i hope you guys enjoyed like this make sure to like comment share subscribe and yeah that's literally the gist about everything and we'll see you guys in my next video which i'm really excited to put out so we'll see we'll see we'll see but yeah i love you guys god bless you and see you all in my next video bye